Welcome to another installment of Ball State Sports LinkedIn. I'm Pat Boylan. When Steve Shondell was brought in to be the new women's volleyball coach at Ball State, everyone expected him to turn the program around. However, very few could have predicted how quickly the new coach is doing just that. After a 3-0 record to start the season, the Ball State Cardinals women's volleyball team swept this past weekend in the active ankle challenge at Worthen Arena. BSU knocked off Tennessee State, Robert Morris, and Oakland all in straight sets. Not only is the Cardinals record perfect on the season of 6-0, but they haven't even dropped a set in a game this year. The Cardinals host IUPUI on Tuesday. The Ball State football team has already accomplished something this season that took it eight weeks to accomplish last season, the first win. Ball State knocked off Southeast Missouri State 27-10 at Schumann Stadium in front of 11,000 fans last Thursday. Coach Parrish gives the student section a lot of credit in helping Ball State earn its first W. Student body was great. I was shocked because I didn't figure there'd be many folks here. You know, uh, everybody wants you to win, but our, I, I thought our, they not only were there, but they were in the game, and I guess third quarter was fun for them. The cross country team headed to West Lafayette this past Friday to take on Purdue. Senior Ali Bischel led the Cardinals with a time of 18 minutes and 37 seconds. The meet is not scored and does not count on Ball State's cross country record. The team heads to Terre Haute this Friday and for the Sycamore Invitational. Ball State's field hockey team has been in a slow climb to turn the program around. However, it looks like this year could be its breakout season. After starting the year 1-1 one one with its only loss in overtime at Appalachian State, the Cardinals put on a show this weekend, knocking off Robert Morris 5-0 and St. Louis 4-0. Junior midfielder Devaney Kuhn led the Cardinals with four goals in the two games. The squad better not get too comfortable at the friendly confines of BSU, however, as they won't be home again until October. They'll head to Illinois Friday to take on Northeastern. And last but certainly not least, the Ball State women's soccer team is in the midst of a brutal road stretch. However, their winning ways continued on Sunday with a thrilling 3-2 double overtime win at Southeast Missouri State. Redshirt freshman Sarah Orsic found the back of the net in the 103rd minute for her first career goal in the Cardinal in white. Ball State is 4-2 on the season. All of Ball State's fall sports teams have a combined 14-3 record this season so far. Last year at this point, those same teams were 5 and 12. For complete interviews and coverage, head to bsusportslink.com. We'd also like to thank our partners at First Merchants Bank. For our entire Ball State Sports Link staff, I'm Pat Boylan, and now you are LinkedIn.